guys what's up it's Kayla I am currently at Walmart you probably can't see but um I'm at Walmart because this year for Christmas I am making my parents um, scrapbooks so I thought I would just include a lot of pictures of us together apart um, kind of see how many holiday photos I can dig up that's gonna be their gifts this year so I am here buying scrapbook supplies and then when I get home I will show you what I got uh, I am back from my shopping trip shopping for Christmas gifts and also a little something for my mom's birthday because it's right after Christmas so I wanted to show you what I got at the store and don't mind my frizzy hair I just Got back from the store and I blow dried it a little bit so it's looking a little crazy but let's get into what I got today so my first stop today was Walmart and I wanted to get the scrapbook things and see what I could maybe do with them do with the pages so here's what I came up with first of course we're going to need markers I assume just to color maybe something in or write a little something on the side so that's what I went with first of all let me get this out of the shot second of all we got this little glitter glue this one's red we have a white sparkly and then we have a blue color so those were my second purchase. I think this is going to be nice if I have to glue something on and kind of maybe like smear the edges so you can still see the glitter. But I thought that was a good purchase. And then I did get a little something for me. I love these um, word searches. So I got that for me, it was like two bucks. So why not? And then I got these numbers and letters this one is a colored one all different colors and glitter and then i did also buy black and white ones too after that i did go with some construction paper different colors and kind of draw on them that way so that is everything that i got from walmart something i should also mention is that i got this twine I like to make hemp necklaces and bracelets, and this is a really fine twine. And so I was thinking with this, I could make like a square design, and then in the center, I would put one of these. It's like a little vial of sorts. So I thought that would kind of be cool as like a little side project. I can start working on that today and then maybe put a couple beads on there and then one of these little vials and I thought it was kind of cute so okay and then after Walmart I went to Joanne Fabrics I don't know if that's just like a regional thing I'm not sure if every place has Joanne Fabrics but what it is is a craft store and that's where I get most of my scrapbooking stuff and it's really expensive it cost me about 50 bucks just to go to joann's and i spent about 50 bucks at walmart so i kind of spent a lot of money today but this is going to last me a long long time so my mom's talking to my cat i can hear her upstairs i'm currently in my basement right when i'm done showing you what i got i'll kind of show you my setup i have right here but this is all the stuff that i had at the old house this is actually my old makeup desk, my makeup chair, and um, this is just going to be like my craft zone for a while while I am making this stuff for Christmas. So the first thing that I got at Joann's was this cute sticker set, and pretty much it's just like a bunch of cocktails and um, olives, mixed drinks. Um, girls night out it says in the corner so this is important to me because I like a drink or two sometimes um, and then my mom likes to drink wine so sometimes before the pandemic happened we would invite our girls of the family to come over for drinks chit chat you know hors d'oeuvres 
and stuff like that. So it's something that me and my mom like to partake in every once in a while. Next thing, I think, I think this might be for my mom's birthday. Not sure yet, but um, it's this crossword book and she loves a good newspaper crossword. So there's all different kinds, different words, and I think she's gonna love it. The other thing I got for my mom's birthday is this book. This is from Walmart, and it says, Age is just a number, 101 tales of humor and wisdom for life after 60. Because I believe that this year, December 27th, my mom is going to be 67. So I thought this would kind of cheer her up a little. It's a nice birthday gift. So I'm excited to give that to her. Had to cover it up so that if she walks down, she can't see. So anyway, um, the next set of stickers I have are kind of sea themed, ocean themed because I wanted to get these because we did go to Florida for that one vacation. That video is actually on my YouTube channel, so you should check it out for sure. And um, so it just has a cruise ship, a little um, lazy, lazy chair or whatever, um, recliner, I guess, and then a lifesaver, some drinks at the bottom, some sandals. I thought that would be perfect to put on that page so and then we have a bunch of little tiny stickers this whole thing was like $6.99 I don't get it but it was $6.99 and there were a lot of things that I thought I could use on here like a little briefcase or suitcase a camera some traveling bags there's a sticker of the Eiffel Tower if you can see and me and my family when I was 10 actually took a trip to France. So that was really fun. I thought I could include some pictures of that and then put a little Eiffel Tower sticker in the corner and it would be so cute. After that, we do have pink lettering. It's very sparkly. My favorite color is pink, so I thought this was really nice to use. After that, we have some white color or white letters and um it looks wintry it's very sparkly so tis the season you know and then some cursive letters i thought that would be nice to use every once in a while and then after that i found this perfect sticker set for our trip in florida it even says florida and then there's a flamingo, a little sailboat, um, and some other stuff. So I thought that would go really well on our Florida trip page. Um, I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to set this up yet. I am not, I'm really not sure. Here are the pictures that I'm going to include, some of them at least. And then this is what I got done today. And it just says, A Celebration, Merry Christmas 2020. And then right there are some bells that I drew. How did they turn out? I feel kind of confident in them. I think you can tell that they're bells, maybe. Um, but I'm by no sense of the word an artiste. So I'm not sure how I did on that. <laughs> Hopefully you can tell what it is. But um yeah, other than that, that is what I got today. So I'm really excited. I'm really um, intrigued to make these scrapbooks for my mother and father. I think that they're really gonna appreciate them. Since I am not currently working at the moment, it's something to kind of do with my time and it's a total money saver. It's a game changer, let's be honest. Um, so I think they're really gonna enjoy them and the heartfelt work that I put into them because scrapbooking is one of the few artsy creative things that I'm good at. I feel like um, I put a lot of thought and heart into it. So 
I really hope that they like them and I will show you more as I progress. Okay, I know that it looks really messy at this moment, but trust me, this is a really nice space for our basement. Um, we're in the process of kind of cleaning up, plus we got Christmas um, decorations down, but this is our basement. CD racks right there, if you remember what CDs even are. This is our record player. It plays records, CDs, and cassette tapes, I believe. And then this is my little setup, you guys. My treadmill. <laughs> but this is my table, as you can see if you watched my previous videos during the pandemic. Um, this is my makeup table. I took it from Jake's brother's house when I moved away. And um, that's my makeup chair, my laptop. I was watching um, Perez Hilton in between takes. He's going through a lot of drama. I actually, like on a, you know, on a side note, I feel really bad for Perez Hilton because he got banned from TikTok and TikTok was pretty much his livelihood. And now he's like, oh my God, I'm falling apart. I don't know what to do. And uh, yeah, I feel bad for the guy. I admire Perez for many reasons. He can be kind of, you know, over the top sometimes, but I think that's really just his job and he's just doing his job really well. But anyway, um, those are the gifts that I got. Some more construction paper on the bottom. And uh, yeah, so this is what I'm going to be spending a lot of my time doing right in this little corner in my basement okay so that's the video you guys thank you for following along with me i know it's been a second since i last updated but i'm back in the game especially now that it's christmas time and um happy holidays to all of you who don't celebrate christmas i think that is excellent any way you can find to Enjoy and celebrate your family and the religion, spiritual journey you're on. I think that's awesome. I myself am not religious at all, just throwing that out there, but I know that my family is. And anytime I can be around them, celebrate together, it's just a really fun time. So anyway, that is my video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, keep an eye lookout. Keep an eye on the lookout. <laughs> And I will come out with more videos. Um, let me know if you like this. So press that like button, hit subscribe, turn on notifications so you get a notification every time I, Kayla Zeller, batshit KZ, come out with a new video. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon.